Hello and welcome to another Pixlr X tool exploration. In our previous feature, we talked about the adjustment tools that control the tonal range and exposure of a photo. Today's feature will be a set of refinement and enhancement tools under the filter panel that adjust photo details and can also alter its appearance. To quickly bring up the filter panel, tap the F key. If you'd like to find it in the toolbar, it's located right here. Divided into two sections, the sliders at the top will adjust details, while those at the bottom will adjust the scene or appearance of your photos. These sliders apply a global effect, meaning changes will be made to the entirety of your photo. So if you'd like more localized adjustments, you can use them with the cutout tool to focus on points of interest. Okay, let's begin. Slider number one under the detail section is Sharpen. It strengthens edge definition of objects by increasing contrast between light and dark pixels. It can help improve images and make the outlines of your subjects more prominent. However, over sharpening will affect image quality, causing artifacts and even loss of details. So pay close attention to the image and apply in moderation so sharpened details are just right. A few common signs of over sharpening would be the appearance of artifacts along the edges or outlines, known as halos. Have a look at this area as you crank up the sharpness. The white outline you're seeing will be what is known as a halo. Aside from that, image details will also appear unnaturally harsh, along with the appearance of noise screens. So when adjusting sharpness and these artifacts are starting to become visible, you want to tone it down a little so it's just good enough for the details to pop while avoiding these issues. Also, if there are any artifacts such as image noise already present on your photo, they should first be reduced before sharpening. Otherwise, they will be sharpened and intensified altogether. Sharpening can do little for a photo that is too blurry, so taking or having a good photo to start with will always be important. The next tool on the list is a clarity slider that adjusts contrast in the midtones. Use it to enhance images where you like to highlight texture. Some good examples would be scenery, urban photography, or wildlife images where it can really help in tightening up the image and bringing out the details. But for images of people in general, and while you can, increasing clarity might not be the first choice as it can really amplify all the pores and wrinkles of the skin, and sometimes in unflattering ways. Unless it's a portrait shot where you like to draw special attention to the complexion of the subject and introduce a dramatic effect. Of course, just like the sharpen slider, overdoing it will create unwanted artifacts and data loss, so apply in moderation. In reverse, drag left on the slider if texture details are too harsh to soften them. You can use the smooth slider to smooth out areas of an image, such as texture or skin. Add blur to images with the blur slider. Effective blurring can introduce a unique aesthetic to your edits and even emphasize focus. For example, blurring the background of an image to create a shallow depth of field effect and draw attention directly to your foreground subjects. Here's how you can quickly do so. Make a duplicate of your original image, then extract the background with the AI cutout tool. If required, fine tune the cutout with any of the other cutout functions. Now, select the layer below it and adjust the blur slider as preferred.
The grain slider adds a film grain texture over your images to replicate the raw, nostalgic look of photos shot on film and works pretty nicely with black and white images. Not only that, adding a little grain can help improve definition in blurry photos or those with slight image compression artifacts. Here's just an example. The image on the left is the original, whereas the one on the right has improved details in the blurred areas due to the added grain. Composites can also benefit from added grain as it can provide overall consistency to the image. So those were the detail sliders. Now we move on to the scene sliders that will add effects to your photos. A vignette creates a framing effect by darkening the edges of an image. This in return establishes a focal point on subjects that are in the middle. Fringe is one of our favorites when it comes to adding quick eye-catching effects. When used creatively, it can give images a nice distinctive look, such as that of OVHS tapes. Generally used for landscape and cityscape photos that were taken under hazy or foggy weather conditions, the dehaze slider can assist in bringing back some contrast. You may also use it with the adjustment tools for further fine-tuning where required. The Bloom slider simultaneously brightens and blurs the image for a subtle, glowy, dreamlike effect. It will intensify the highlights, so be sure to watch the bright areas when adjusting so they are not completely blown out. The Glamour slider is somewhat similar to Bloom, applies a subtle blur but intensifies the dark areas instead. So again, always be sure to leave some details where possible and not to black out the dark areas completely. The Posterize slider controls the amount of colors available in an image. As colors are reduced, color information to create a smooth transition in tone is limited, hence the unique visual result. Pixelate converts photo detail into colored blocks. Typically used to hide objects or confidential information, it can also be used for creative purposes as well, such as pixel art or simulating graphics from an 8-bit video game. Use it with the posterize slider for even better results. Last but not least, the mosaic slider will apply a geometric pattern effect onto your photos. And that was a quick look at the adjustment tools. Hope it was able to give you a better understanding of its functions. We'll see you in the next video.